I only have 700,000 followers. I'm going to be oh dear, it's not enough. Something like this. It's very humbling. People say it's very humbling. What they really mean is, I'm very proud of this. The thing that struck me, you asked me my impression, my thing that struck me was the number of bicycles. In the year 2000, I came to Hong Kong, and I was in Hong Kong for 10 years. But the thing I noticed, it, it, not just then, in 1997, but as China got richer, the move went from push bicycles, pedal bicycles, to e-bicycles, and then to, to cars, and then in the very richest parts of China that I've been in, uh, like uh, near, in the outskirts of Qingdao, SUVs. And there's that kind of progression, you see, but it was very rapid in China. The bicycles disappeared rather fast. I've had a very friendly reception here in China and ordinary people that I meet as well from time to time also always very friendly. When I go walking in the park here they always point me out to their grandchildren and say there's yay yay. So yeah, so I like it here. Quarantine was not that serious. Again, again, if you've got friends on the phone, you can always get stuff ordered in by, by phone. And um, that's, that's what I did for two weeks. Getting exercise was a little difficult. I think that uh, a heroic element in the Chinese character came out in Wuhan. And all the people from all over China who descended on Wuhan, from all over China to help them, all the medics and, and army and and people, army medics and people all came there and risked their lives to help the people there for the sake of them and for the sake of China. So I think it was wonderful. <laughs>